Good morning, good morning. Now that was pretty good timing. Literally, Katie Blake finished on Hey You and I started over on Katie Brindle. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good synchronicity. She luckily, luckily for us, she carried on for a couple of extra minutes. She goes, and Katie's going to start at 8 o'clock over on Hey You. And I'm thinking, uh, not exactly. <laughs> anyway, we are all here. Welcome, welcome this morning. This morning's Qigong. This morning's Qigong with special guest appearances of thyroid issues and is it migraines Jules is it migraines is it thyroid and migraines this morning is that what we're doing is that what we're doing I think it is I know Katie Blake's doing these brilliant master classes if anyone's not seen them yet uh, hence why I have got no makeup on again and look I've just been doing a little bit that's my precision just working there and what I was doing was just lifting this bit here by going up into the kind of that area there, by working there, it's lifting this line here. Can you see that's where the shards come up? Don't forget, I shar really easily. Most people don't shar that much, but it's lifting this because this is slightly behind this side of the face. So there you go. Interesting, interesting. So it's worth having a look at her tutorials because she really knows her stuff. So anyway, welcome to Qigong, life force practice. Here we come every day. Make sure your window's open. Make sure you've got everything you need, your tappers, your crystals, yourselves, your sanity. Make sure somebody's got a stopwatch, not Jules, because she keeps forgetting. Anyway, that's been well and truly de designated now. Sorry, delegated. Someone else has to do that now. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Fridays. Right, let's, we're going to do some lovely conversations today. So we're going to talk about thyroid, aren't we? And we're going to, I'm sure it's migraine, Jules. Is it migraine? If I stand too back far from the phone, I can't actually see what you write because my I really need to get my eyesight tested. <laughs> Morning Qigongers. Ah, now, uh, Jules had a lovely expression yesterday. We had our team meeting yesterday. It was amazing. There's so many of us. I took a phone, a, a photograph of us all. It's my great, right, okay. <laughs> Jules referred to my live feeds as me wanging on. <laughs> she goes, well, when you're not wanging on <laughs> on the internet, so I am no longer live feeding on the internet. I am wanging on, it's official. I wang on apparently. So Jules, what am I wanging on about today? <laughs> wanging on about migraines and thyroids. I'll wang on for the next 45 minutes, shall I? <laughs> Thank you, Jules. <laughs> we'll save that for laughter, she goes, shall we? <laughs> wanging on where did she get that from <laughs> we should put a poll up Jules today on the Instagram story with a yes no <laughs> does Katie wang on <laughs> survey oh go on get Emily to put it up be really funny <laughs> right now we shake <laughs> Exactly. Think how good your immune systems are going to be after 45 minutes of laughing at <laughs> me and Jules squabbling. Mark, who's now coming to run the business. Oh, Jules, you must, let's put a picture of Mark up because Mark has a cockatoo. And so we have meetings with him on Skype. And he's got this cockatoo on <laughs> called Khaleesi. And she's completely in love with him. And she spends the whole time going like this on his shoulders. <laughs> looks like a pirate. I'll put a picture, we'll put a picture of him up as well so that you can see a little bit more behind the scenes of what's going on. Anyway, Mark's relatively new to the team. He thinks Jules and I are like an old married couple. <laughs> so we spend our entire time bickering with each other and laughing. <laughs> I think he's jealous, isn't he, Jules? He's jealous. But Jules, that's two things we need to do. We need to put a picture of Mark and his cockatoo up so everyone can meet Khaleesi. I can't believe that our own Katie Brindle slash Hey You Pet hasn't actually been uh, put out there on social media. And then we need to have a survey about whether people think I wang on or not. <laughs> Does Katie wang on? Yes or no? And we'll see where we get to by tomorrow morning, shall we? What would you like Katie to wang on about tomorrow? Right, shake, breathe in. Shake your tree. Let me just do my middly bit. Oh, that adhesion is going. It kind of goes round like that. Oh. Da, da, da. I feel like one of those, those dancing dolls in the car that goes like that when it moves. 
There we go. Right. Just twist. And breathe. Remember, in Qigong practice, we're using breath. Breath. The number one income source to the body. Not food, not water, not supplements you have to buy. Oxygen. Which is what we hand if we stop burning down the rainforest. But we'll save that for another day. But breath. Life force practice using breath. So make sure in this class, whilst we're not laughing, that we're getting every single breath down in here. The laughter kind of brings it up again, but the breathing roots it down into the Dantian, the energetic centre of the body. This is where all the chi is made in Chinese medicine. Remember, it's all energetic. So use every opportunity in this class to take deep breaths. Think of it like a gourmet meal. Therefore, have a window open, try and have house plants. We talk about house plants in the book. Sorry, we wang on about house plants in the book. <laughs> but funnily enough, the money, the money plant uh, is a really good house plant. Not only does it, according to Chinese medicine, bring you lots of extra wealth, that's handy, uh, but also it gives you very high levels of oxygen <laughs> into the body. So a really useful plant to have, especially if you're doing Qigong indoors, which I try to do because in case people can't get outdoors. When it just sort of started like that in lockdown, but actually I guess I could go outside now, but that would be just like extra time and I'm late enough as it is. Right, and now we tap, tap, tap. Remember tapping, so important. The shaking just kind of gets everything jiggled about, but the tapping really gets into the musculoskeletal, okay? The shaking's kind of at the top end. You know, if you were just sort of shaking out a, um, a rug, actually, shaking out a rug, and it would just get the superficial off. When you then you have to beat the rug, you have to beat it to get the more ingrained stuff out. That's what we're doing. Use your tapper. By the way, there's a promotion going live today on those tappers. Oh, yes, there is. There's a discount. They go on discount as of 12 o'clock today. Breathe. We're launching today our Father's Day slash Men's Health Week. Yes, they have a whole week to their health next week. So we are uh, emphasising all of the products which are suitable for the men folk in our life, which is the tapper and the comb and the body restorer and the body oil and the shower minerals. We thought they were very blokey. Use your tapper if you've got one. I'll just use my hand today because it's nice for people that don't have a tapper to see that they can... You just need to use your fist is fine. You can use a cupped hand as well. You can even use your fingertips if you don't feel too great. If you're lying in bed, this is fine. Start gently. The weaker the body, the gentler you need to start. Think of your body like a little garden, you know, and if it's not in great shape, it's just because the garden needs more attention, more probiotics, more nutrients into the soil before you can start growing anything. It's the same principle. So just as you would eat probiotics in the diet, and you would nourish your soil with fertilizer, you want to be doing gentle vibrations, breath and tapping on the body to just get that chi moving so that we can walk you gently into this practice and then hopefully beyond into the 12 rivers, which of course is where we always want you to go because it's a sequence. We start at the beginning with me and then we take you on to Aaron. And then actually Jules had a lovely message from one of our ladies this morning who had come to me with she had very bad menopause and something... What else was it, Jules? She had menopause and something else. Was it skin? Anyway, it was very bad. And uh, we, we, we put her through the whole process. She had a chart done. She started doing all the stuff. She then did the 12 rivers. She's practicing every day. And guess what? She now wants to become a practitioner. Yay! That's what I like. Maddie. Oh, you're there. Hi, Maddie. Whoop, whoop. Maddie. Sleep. That was it. It was sleep and menopause. Don't Google it. Jules does that. <laughs> Maddie, you are a shining example to us all that you've basically taken the advice, you've done the work and you are on the journey, which is what I say all the time from patient to practitioner, which is my journey. I was a patient and I became a practitioner out of everything I learned. And there are loads of us. If anybody else is interested in exiting Patientsville into Practitionersville, then let Jules know. Jules is going to kill me for saying that. <laughs> Jules is like, we need a system for this. We need a system. And we will need you guys. We need practitioners. We literally genuinely do need practitioners. It takes a few months to learn. I was on the phone to John Monroe only yesterday. So thank you, Maddie, for walking the walk. You are a shining example to what is indeed possible. Bad sleep, bad menopause, and now a practitioner or a practitioner in the making. Congratulations. 
So actually, if anyone is interested, email us, because we want to know. We want to know. And John's class starts in July, the next one. The next class, tap, spleen points. Breathe. So the best, the next step is always Aaron. Once you've learned the 12 rivers with Aaron to do for yourself and you get the hang of it and you realise how brilliant it is and then it changes your life and you get terribly enthusiastic like I do, then next step, John Munro. Next step, long white cloud, she gone. Tap, tap, tap. I took a video yesterday of Mr Brindle, um, not Mr Brindle, Mr Ferryman, my dad, with his tapper. We also did a little one of him tapping our dog, or his doggy. He's got an elderly Labrador called Bella. And he's used to tap her on her because she likes it. And she just stands there wagging her tail. She's always oh, really nice. He does it gently, of course. She loves it. She's quite arthritic. And he uses gua sha and tapping on her. It's not bad, actually. She's 13. She's doing really well with it. Bless her. Tap your head. Remember, lovely hair. Thicker hair, better hair days. Headaches, muddy head, migraines. We're doing migraines today. Don't obviously tap your head with a migraine. That'd be a disaster. Tap your head preventatively. The Chinese masters say a drop of prevention is a bucket load of cure. So you want to work preventatively. Look at those low level signs and symptoms. Breathe. Oh, they love it. Honestly, the more stuff like this you can do on your doggies, they love it, they love it, they love it. They love the comb, especially Labradors. So do my children. Honestly, we have a timer in my living room when we watch a family film. I have five kids. Not all of them mine are hazen to add. Two of them are adopted. But um, five of them. And, they, and we have to work out how long the film is and then divide it up. So you'll get the little stint of therapy on my lap, honestly. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Try an experiment. Go lightly. Go hard. Feel the difference. Notice. Check into your inner world. Notice yourself. Notice how you feel. Notice little spots on your arm. Certain posi positions with you. Oh, that feels nice. Like, oh, right there on me. Like, ah, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, tapping helps my tap before bed. And you know the other thing that I'm now doing absolutely religiously, which I kind of didn't quite do religiously before I did it, but not every day, foot bathing. Oh my God, honestly, I am now foot bathing my feet every single night before bed. I cannot believe the difference. And I know I know this stuff, but like I am walking the walk as well, so I kind of know it. And then sometimes I think, right, come on, just like do this for a week to really kind of focus yourself on the difference. And like, I can't believe it sometimes. You've got this stuff so simple. And yet so effective. I mean, the difference between sleep. I had a really busy day yesterday and then I had to get to London. I didn't get, get here until really late. And I was like, oh God, I'm not going to sleep. Wash my feet, boom. Straight to sleep. Just enough time to get ready and watch Katie Blake. Tapper, really good for cellulite. All the soft joints as well. Soft joints, really good for joint pain. Breathe, breathe. You can do your armpits. Very handy doing the armpits because there's a lot you can't do with your armpits. There's a lot, you know, I'm constantly talking to the master about what you can and can't do. The armpits, you can tap. Try it. Feels really nice. Ooh. Breathe. And take it down into the body. You've got all these lymph nodes. You want to keep that lymph nice and clean. And I know we use deodorant, I do as well. I use the natural one when possible, but there are some times when you just have to... If you don't have a tapper, this is a good weekend to get one, because we're doing a 15% off. So this is the weekend to think, oh, I'll get that, you know. Right. And then... Sorry. Oh, phew. Sorry. 
I'm a bit of a, as anyone who knows me knows that I am absolutely useless with technology. I nearly cut myself off my own feet. Sorry. Right, here we are. Right. Healing sounds. Shaman also footballs, absolutely 100%. I was using them only last night. It was so good. Hey, you essential oil balm. <laughs> Watch this space. What I do say to people, by the way, is the bath salts have the most amazing smell, like the most. So um, sometimes just, just buy a pot and don't actually use them, just smell them. Just use them as smelling salts. They smell so beautiful. I've got a pot that I keep in the bathroom. I've had it for about three years now and it hasn't, it's still smelling to heaven. And I just, every now and then, I just kind of give myself a bit of aroma therapy, just smelling the salts. It's quite a nice little trick. Yes, the body all smell, they're all, they're all the same range. They're all using the same, I mean, they're slight variations because of course they're natural products. And so the smell in oil will be different to the smell in salt. Um, the smell in salt, in my opinion, is the purest format, but the oil is absolutely lovely. I mean, I use every single product every single day. That's why I'm very proud of the range because there's an awful lot of stuff which doesn't see the light of day. Where I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna use that. I'm like, which I also got terribly excited about when I, when I first found whatever it was. And then I bin it, well, I don't bin it, I just keep it in my, I have a, I have a whole cupboard full of crazy products, which Jules will tell you about. We, we had a team meeting yesterday and we were laughing all about the, some of the crazy things that I had in there. Well, the bar salts I've had have been open for three years and they're fine. I think you're only supposed to keep them for 18 months though. But I mean, like, so I'm gonna say 18 months because I have to, but I, I might have been there for ages. Jewels. Go to your left hand side. I'm not showing you my left. It confuses everybody, including myself. Your left hand side. We are going with the liver and the spleen. They are this side. Okay, liver and spleen are here. Go to your left, your left, which is the spleen. Whoa. Yeah, anyone that just said candle and diffuser. to your right hand I know <laughs> don't tell me never tell me anything okay seriously I can't keep a secret I cannot keep a secret well actually that's not true patient secrets absolutely I'm brilliant at those but kind of things where it's kind of like life and death like patient information of course but uh, when it comes to things like NPD I'm like way too excited to keep my mouth shut and the problem was all of this stuff was supposed to come out months ago but because of Covid we had to we had to push it all back uh, so it's killing me anyway and we've got all sorts of other things we've got other things with Aaron not allowed to say anything about that either. Right, go to your right hand side, please. This is kindness and compassion in the liver, not anger and frustration, kindness and compassion. I know we're really bad, honestly, so bad. Anyway, maybe we could do a survey, Jules, guess the NPD. <laughs> I will neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> I'll be like a politician. Oh yeah, I need to go to Durham to go and get my eyes tested. Actually, I really do need to get my eyes tested. But anyway, um, we're going to go the Aaron calendar. Now there's a good idea. Jules, write that down. We need the Aaron Qigong calendar. <laughs> oh my God, that'd be brilliant. It would be like that. Um, what's that What's that really funny film with the women where they all go naked? Oh, I forgot what it's called. Calendar girls. <laughs> we can have our Qigong boys, calendar Qigong boys. Oh, write that down, Jules. That'd be brilliant. We'll do it as a Christmas special. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Did we like Aaron's tapping in slow motion? Who thought she Kong was boring, eh? <laughs> Apropos of nothing, Judy's just booked her 12 rivers for next week. Go, Judy. <laughs> No, I'm not letting you see my hands. You're on your right hand side, okay? Now we go to your because it gets confusing with the with the way the camera is. I can't work it out. Right. So you go to your kidneys, which are on your back, and we're going to go black wisdom. Right, oh, ladies, calm down. <laughs> Right, up and down your sides, please. We're going to the other side of fire now. This is the heartfelt love and joy. And then if you can take a crystal, I've now discovered my rose quartz has been returned. I shall not, I shall not name names, but it rhymes with finesse. Yes, in case you're watching. <laughs> That's my daughter Ines. <laughs> right, hold your crystal if you can. If you don't, don't worry, just hold your fingers and just go clockwise. It's quite nice, the crystal. One of the ladies came up with that idea, genius idea, which we've now adopted. Uh, so thank you all for this great community spirit because we love all the info you're giving us. It's, it's, it's improving everything we're doing. Get those higher self vibrations up into the higher echelons of the body. We're talking about courage and gratitude and kindness and compassion, integrity, humility, wisdom. These are the, these are the benefits of the soul and of the higher self, which we need to engage with every day to raise the frequency of the body and strengthen our chi. So we're going to just go... lovely high frequency this is now higher self this is what higher self feels like and i think we're all quite a few of us seem to be in our lower selves right now thinking about aaron tapping his groin honestly <laughs> i did say to andrea who does all our social media i said is this okay <laughs> i'm not sure anyway john munro is okay with it he says anything to get people into qigong he doesn't care what we do as long as people get into the benefits of this amazing technique so um Right, and yes, thank you for looking after Nina last night. She is, she's come back from maternity leave. She's working so hard. She's so lovely. And um, she's so kind and thoughtful and really understands the brand. So thank you for supporting her because it was her first feed yesterday. So now it's time for laughs, Chigong. So since we've been laughing the entire morning, uh, what are we going to laugh about? We're laughing about Aaron tapping himself with the tapper. <laughs> right, it doesn't look as sexy when I do it. <laughs> Never mind. Let's try and keep our hormones under control, shall we? Is someone, is someone ready with the timer? Who's ready with the timer? Have we got someone ready with the timer? We're going to start our minute. <laughs> Katie is basically my favorite. I'm not a pimp. <laughs> right. I'm hoping that somebody's got a timer ready to go. So are we ready? Uh, let's get ready. Go. Okay. <laughs> It's really easy to laugh when we've been laughing about all so far anyway. <laughs> And 
know Jules, are you wagging on about Aaron's Qigong class now then? It's not just me that wags on, clearly you do as well in writing. <laughs> Laughter today is really easy. I need to get it out of my system. I've been giggling all morning now. <laughs> Poor Aaron and the Qigong. Jules, you have written that down, haven't you? The Qigong calendar boys. Oh my God, it'd be so funny. <laughs> I don't know if he sees that. I don't think so. He's probably asleep. <laughs> We'll have them there with all of the different products and they can kind of like use them in seductive ways like this, you know, like uh, they could hold them. <laughs> then you won't know who it is. <laughs> oh, we've done it, we've done it. My goodness me, that was easy. Okay, so remember, uh, one of our lovely ladies uh, messaged us in and she'd found out that one minute of laughter supports the immune system for 24 hours. And I was saying last night, I was with the lovely Phoebe Greenacre last night, so do follow her, she's lovely, she's so on message. As was, of course, the Prince of Orange, who's less on message, but just utterly fabulous nonetheless. So I had two interviews last night and uh, we were just talking about, uh, uh, I've just totally lost my train. Oh yes, yes, it's about the immune system and how important it is to really strengthen and look after the immune system. You know, there's so much stuff now showing us that if your immune system is strong, you are less likely to get ill, okay? And these exercises strengthen the immune system. There is proof to prove that Qigong strengthens the immune system, and there is a lot of proof to prove that laughter strengthens the immune system. So if you could do a bit of both, you're gonna be standing yourself in good stead. So now we've got the lovely laughter energy, the lovely higher self. So we're, we're happy. This is happiness. This is what the body wants to feel like, okay? I'm not suggesting that we're gonna like bounce around all day long, but just go to your inner self, Notice how you feel, okay? Let's just put our feet side by side. Just notice the feeling inside the body that this, this is the body, balanced, okay? And so now just put your hands on your hips. Do the tortoise goes. Breathe. Breathe, stretch. Just observe yourself, go to your inner world. Other way, breathe, indulge, something that Jasmine said yesterday when she does her meditations, there's just allow yourself to just sink into these exercises. We go so fast in our lives, just allow yourself this minute right now, these breaths, to just experience something slow. and how lovely and delicious that feels. Every day we do this practice, 
you're adding one marble into your jar every day, slowly but surely, bringing this life force back, nurturing the garden of your body and just bringing it back to life. This is what we're doing together. Right, lovely exercise. Let's now go to our lifting the sky, pull everything in specifically here, like this. You want to imagine this line going up. This is so good for the nervous system which is leading me nicely onto the endocrine system, which I shall come to in a minute. Down, you can't really see me, can you? There we Go inside, half close your eyes, breathe in as you lift up, breathe out as you push down. Notice your body. Start to feel the movement of the chi around the body. You can start to feel like little springs, little rivulets of energy as it starts to flow. And you know the slower you go, Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe in. Stand with your feet, shoulder width apart. Keep your attention into your inner world. Stay in your inner world, notice yourself. How calm the body feels. That's because the exercise is so profound on the nervous system. It really calms you down. So if you found yourself just, it's all getting a bit much, that's such a wonderful exercise to do. This is relaxation. It's a good one to do before meditation because it gets you into the right sort of zone before you start. Mind you, so does Jasmine's singing bowls. So I listen to those as well. Up, really push, really like stretch, pull up. Pull on your thighs, pull on your ankles, pull on your calves. Really work the joints. Push, pull, lift, relax. So it's a kind of combo of absolute intensity but absolute stillness. Breathe. Um, 
for the iron shirt qigong with this one when i say start like this open we do this with our hands and i want you to breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe like a balloon filling and filling and filling we're not holding our breath we are trying to supercharge the quantities of oxygen into the body we're sort of blasting or sort of osmosizing not really blasting it's the wrong word we're osmosizing oxygen into the cells we're making the the input of oxygen so powerful that it's sort of pushing itself into every cell of the body and filling it with oxygen and chi okay which is what we want to do so breathe in and open And close, breathe out, open, and close, breathe out, breathe in. And out. Take a breath. Notice yourself. Can you feel how lovely the body feels? Relaxed yet energised. This is the sensation that we're looking for. This is what we want every single day of our lives. And the more we do it, the more the body goes back into that state. Okay, rest and digest. This is the state that we need in our lives. There's way too much fight or flight. So now on that note, we're going to go into our swimming dragon and I'm going to talk about the uh, low thyroids. So I think most people um, know what we're doing. You go one side with the hip and the hands like this and you swap like this and on we go. So if you stay within the boundaries of what's possible for your body, please don't hyperextend, don't strain. Just staying at this height is fine because you're working all the digestive organs here. It doesn't matter if you're going all the way down and up. If you can go down and up, we want to, but if you can't, this is absolutely fine, okay? And on that note, I shall now talk about low thyroids. So low thyroid is part of the, well, the thyroid is part of the endocrine system, full stop. And the endocrine system is, it manifests in the kidneys, but it starts in the liver, okay? So if you've got a problem with anything, any kind of gland in your body, whatever it is, you need to download the liver and the kidney fact sheets. That's, the, that's your starting point. And please look at the stuff in the book. And actually, to be honest, when I talk to you guys in the morning, we're, we're all such kind of devotees of this information now, but I would just urge you all to just download every fact sheet because they're really interesting. <laughs> they really are. Jules, I spent a long time getting them right. So it's full of really great juicy stuff there that you think, oh, I didn't know that. That's interesting. Lots of interesting facts. Um, but the ones that are relevant to the endocrine system are indeed the liver and the kidneys. And really what happens, the endocrine system gets off whack, largely because of its relationship to the nervous system. So what happens is the liver controls the endocrine system and the nervous system, amongst others. And in the olden days, people kind of understood this. And the liver was, everyone was obsessed with their livers. You only need to read Shakespeare and you'll see how much the liver kind of crops up when he's talking. Um, in all, across, just across the board, it's something that I noticed doing English A level, and I didn't understand it at the time. I thought, what are they going about their livers all the time? Because we don't, uh, but they did. And the reason why was because the liver's really important. It's this massive organ in the body, and it's got all these responsibilities, the nervous system being one. And of course, yesterday I was talking about the stress response, and I know I bang on about it. The reason I go on about it is because it's such a pandemic. It's way worse than COVID, quite frankly. Um, and the problem with the stress response is it really whacks our livers. It wallops the, the nervous system anyway because we are on edge, kind of like we're on guard. And this on guard energy is the liver because the liver is responsible for anger and frustration and resentment. But it's, it's because of that that in the olden days, if someone was about to kill you, your liver was on guard. That expression, on guard, the liver was alert, ready to protect you, ready to fight ready to be angry because the anger emotion is the fastest emotion in the body. It's the quickest one to rise. It's a very dynamic emotion. And in the old days, of course, you would then move because you'd run or you'd fight or you'd get killed or, you know, people would die. People died all the time. Now we live and that's great. We will live till we're hopefully in our ripe old ages. But the, the question now is not how long you're going to live. 
it's how healthy is your life and how, how fulfilled is your life whilst you're alive, not just living till you're 90 years old, not having a great time. That's, that's not what this is about. And the thing with the liver is that this, this dynamic anger um, and protection energy that it carries in order to save our lives when necessary, um, gets stuck in the body because of course we're now sat at desks or sat in cars or sat on buses or on tubes or we're sedentary with the with the stresses coming in through our eyes the liver opens into the eyes the eyes are shaped like the liver the the, the ears are the kidneys the eyes are the liver so what's happening is all this information is coming into our eyes okay, bombarding us straight into the liver the liver's going whoa, 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 whoa. and then in the stress response it's then also injecting glucose into the bloodstream over and over again because it's constantly thinking we're about to fight, getting totally overwrought and it's having a direct relationship to our nervous system and a direct relationship to our endocrine system. And then what happens is because this is a complicated situation, especially when you're dealing with thyroids, the kidneys get involved. Why? Because if the body is a matrix, everything has a relationship to everything else. That's why when we do the healing sounds, we do all of them. We don't just do one. Um, because all of the body has a relationship with everything else. It's called homeostasis. So if something's got a problem, everything else will get involved in order to protect it. And the kidneys are related to the basic yin-yang of the body, the basic kind of undulating rhythm of our bodies. And if one of the endocrine system comes out, then it will start to basically, the yang of the body starts to go down because basically the body can't cope. And down goes the vibration, down goes the energy, down goes the yang, and everything just kind of goes like this, because it can't cope. Because otherwise it's just in override, it's gonna reduce the yang down because the liver's going bah, 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 bah. like this, <laughs> this is not good. Okay, God, even just doing that's just really stressed me out, so I'm just, just relax again whew, for a second. But consequently, the kidneys then start dialing down the yang of the body because they're thinking, goodness me, if she carries on at this rate, she's gonna have a heart attack. And remember that the, that the heart is the emperor of the body, so all of the organs gather together to protect the heart. It's like a chess game. So the king is like numero uno, and you will sacrifice a rook or a bishop to protect your king. It's the same in the body. I'm absolutely convinced that chess was a game created to explain bodily functions, because it really makes sense to me when I, I never understood that until I studied five elements. I'm thinking, hang on a minute, this is kind of the same content in a different way. Um, so that's what the endocrine system is. So what do we do? Okay, so the first thing, as always, is understand what the problem is. Well, I've just explained it. So understanding, okay, tick. Right, next. Meditation, you have to calm down the liver. Meditation, Jasmine's singing bowls. Phoebe's now doing this lovely yin class, uh, which she was telling me about last night. She's, if you look on her feed, I mean, she's just so lovely. I'm gonna do it this Sunday, it sounds amazing. Just, you need to get that deep relaxation into your life on a daily basis, okay? Health is not just going to the gym and running for 45 minutes on the treadmill. That is not going to sort the problem out. And then in turn, uh, we need to strengthen the kidneys as well. So this is where foot bathing comes in. Again, foot bathing is so good for you. It helps you sleep, relaxes the body, draws the energy down into the kidney points. Um, and then you want to gua sha, ideally with the comb, the soles of the feet and the top side of the feet with the comb after you've bathed your feet. Also, massaging this area here. So this is the belly button. This is the dantian. Just, this is where you can use, the body restorer is pretty good for this. You can just hold the body restorer like that. Can you see? And just stimulate that area like that. Really good. And of course, of course, qigong, qigong, qigong. I mean, basically I'm always going to end up saying qigong and meditation because that's why I created the method because the method was here because I understood all these different pathologies and the method is here to basically distill down no matter what into its component parts, which is what you needed to do. So that's the key thing to do for your endocrine system. You've got to work on your liver and your kidneys. Um, and there will be a fact sheet coming up about that very soon as well, but those will do the trick. Then if we move on to our next exercise, which is of course uh, the spinning crystals. So give yourself some space. Hopefully you can see me. Uh, I'm just worried you can hear me, okay? Jewel, is, is, can everyone hear me? I hope. Uh, you're with the Chine Sang Massage. Now that's also really, really good. Uh, so, we're doing migraines now. Okay, right, so hang on, let me just see if I've got enough room. So, I'll shout a bit louder so you can hear me. So migraines, basically, it's another liver condition. Um, I need a bit more room, there we go. Uh, sorry, I stopped to get, right. So the migraines is also the liver condition and largely, again, because of this, 
blooming stress response that seems to be the culprit for everything. Um, what happens is that the liver gets agitated because of stress. It makes stress creates heat in the body because everything's working frenetically to cope with this fight or flight. It creates heat. And this heat is a problem. This heat is a big problem. And the heat creates symptoms. And the, most of the symptoms that people ask me about are related to heat. And the reason why the heat's been created in the body is because of our lifestyle. Our lifestyles are not aligned to how human bodies were being designed, okay? It's just changed so much in the last hundred years. And of course, we didn't know the difference because we've inherited how things were. It's only since COVID hit that... Can you hear me, okay, Jules? Oh, I hope so. I hope you can hear me. You know, um, it's only since COVID that we've even noticed how quiet things actually can be. And this kinetic heat that gets created in the body has to go somewhere. And in the case of migraines, what happens is it normally, people that get migraines normally have a very dominant liver. Everybody will always have a dominant organ. That's what the Bazi chart reading does. It will show you which one, which one you need to focus on. In the case of migraines, but you don't need to know all that. You just need to understand your symptom. In the case of migraines, it's the liver. So what you do is you've got to get that liver under control. So um, livers love tapping, livers love qigong, livers love meditation, livers love smooth flow. This exercise, my liver loves this exercise. So the thing is what's happening with the migraine is this heat, the liver's picking this heat up and the body's saying to itself, uh, don't want this thanks, what are we gonna do with this? And the liver goes, uh, oh I know, I've got the gallbladder channel, which is my yin yang pair. So my partner, like my husband, is the gallbladder, so I know I've got a junction point where the, the channels cross like this. So I'll just whack the heat into the gallbladder channel, which by the way zigzags all around the side of the body. It's a massive channel, like all the way, where I'm showing you now, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. I mean, it's huge. So the gallbladder picks it up, and of course the gallbladder's like, oh God, now what am I, now what am I gonna do with this? And he goes, oh, I know, I'll send it as far away as possible and deal with it another time. That's what I'll do, that's my plan. So to which, of course, in this, the case of the migraine sufferer, it whacks it up into the head. And the problem is once it gets in the head, it's stuck. And then it's got nowhere to go. And what happens is it debilitates you so much that you go and lie in a dark room and calm down. And that tends to help. And over time, and eventually it just goes. Why? Because you've relaxed. And because you've gone into a dark space. And because the liver opens into the eyes, by going dark, you relax the eyes right down. And then there's no more stimulation coming into the body. So the body's got half a chance to sort itself out. And that's what the problem is. So what you need to do is the dark room's really good, but you want to do prevention, not cure. A drop of prevention is a bucket load of cure. You've got to gua sha the sides of your body. Gua sha your inner legs. Use the body restorer. Use a jam jar lid if you don't have a body restorer, but gua sha all the way down, all the way down your side, down here, down here, down here, all the way up the inner leg every day. Comb your head, head combing so good for migraines in, in, as a way to stop them because you're clearing the exit every single day because the gua sha allows all of this heat to basically get cleared and that's why it's, it's going to work because it's basically going to allow the circulation to move around and then it goes into the lymphatics and then the body can just excrete it meditate 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 singing bowls bring this yin into your body and of course tapping tapping is so good for the body so good for the liver it's a wood in, it's a wood implement the liver is the wood element the tapper is brilliant, do it every day, tap your head like I show you, do the healing sound. So basically, now you understand what the problem is, connect into what we do every day. I do it with you, do the qigong with me, do the meditation, do the singing bowls. I do it every day, everybody needs to do it. Add the 12 rivers, practice them every day, add in the heaven and the earth. Make sure you bathe your feet every night, make sure you're meditating. Eat, download the liver fact sheet, check everything. Try and keep your alcohol and greasy food intake to a to a low level because the liver gets involved with toxins and fats. So that's, that's a bit of an inroad into menopause. I hope that was, um, menopause, I'm obsessed with the menopause. Uh, um, what were we on? Migraines. So hopefully that was, I'm liking doing these exercises whilst I get to talk about, um, so up the inner leg. Like that. And then down the whole, of the outside of the body like this. So like I'm, I regularly, I'm doing, so look like that, like that, down the side of my boob, down here, round the dime eye, down my bum, down the sides of my leg, comb in the shower as well. I mean, everything that I tell you to do, 
I do myself. Okay, I promise. There is not one single thing that I recommend that I don't do. Okay, the, 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 the rebalanced food plan, that is what I do. That is, my, that is what I eat. That is literally, you like, look, look on any single day and that is basically thinking, what well, Kate is eating today, if you ever think that for. It'll be on that list. I put everything there. The 12 rivers, they work. John Munro, amazing, amazing instructor. Anybody wanting to become a practitioner from being a patient, walk this journey. I've walked it myself, okay? But no one told me, I had to find it all out. It was exhausting, it's taken years, it's taken me 20 years to get here. Um, and now I can tell you, and you can just shortcut. I promise you, all the rubbishy stuff that didn't work, I'd done all that as well. And I was like, oh, it doesn't work. This works. Anyway, thank you so much. I know I've been wanging on. There you go, Jules, I've wanged on. Please tap whilst I finish wanging on. Um, remember, Jules has the power. Now, um, the times tomorrow and Sunday have got to be a bit different. I've got a slightly different routine this weekend, but I will nonetheless do the class. So I think it's going to happen at 11 o'clock. It might be 12. So we're going to put it up onto the story today. And I'm going to do Qigong meditation as one class, if that's OK. Um, Jules, though, I need to fix the topics for the next few days because Jules doesn't join us on Saturdays and Sundays because she gets the weekend off. Some of us carry on. Uh, so, Jules, in order for me to wang on effectively, could you please make sure that I know which topics people would like me to wang on about over the next couple of days? Um, we also will be having a Hey You giveaway. <laughs> we are a generous brand. There's nothing I like more than giving stuff away. There's going to be a bit of a giveaway on Sunday night, so do keep an eye on the stories, please, because that will all be going up today. I already said, well, I don't know, I wasn't looking at the things, so I couldn't see. Please tap, please tap, please tap, 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 tap. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Jasmine will be here at 12.30. I will be here at 12.30. Sorry, Jasmine will be at 12.15. I then take over at 12.30. I'm loving these, like, jump on things. It's sad. And, uh... Then I will see you back again tomorrow morning. Oh, there's Jasmine. You're there. Exactly. Oh, you go to your 12 rivers. You see Jasmine's doing it as well with the lovely Aaron. And Jules make a note of the Aaron, the, Aaron, the Qigong master calendar boy. <laughs> Christmas special. I've got to start thinking about these things early, you know. It comes around. Anyway, have a lovely day. And I'll see you at 12.15 with Jasmine.